What's up everybody? Well, the day is here. It has finally reached yours truly. The Friday the 13th Shout Factory Ultimate Badass box set is finally here. It's a few weeks before all of you Amazon customers and Target customers and everywhere else. A little more expensive to go through Shout Factory, but you get, to get, but you get the shit early and you get some, uh, some cool stuff along with it. So I've already cut the tape. I'm gonna unbox it for you as best as I can and just uh, show off the set a little bit. Aw, oh, that is glorious. It's glorious, I can see it, you can't. First of all, you have an atom bomb, uh, whatever the fuck they fit into here. Ugh, we'll start with that. It looks like multiple posters, which is pretty sweet. I think this was only like 20, maybe 30 bucks more if you order directly from Shout Factory, which I usually always do so I can get it early. Uh, so for me, for a poster whore, it's absolutely worth it because like I said, this is like two or three posters. At least it feels like it, we'll see. So you have, maybe it's just two posters. So you have this one that is the poster of the actual artwork. It's probably gonna be some glare, so sorry, but it's the cover, that the artwork that they created for this actual set. So you get a poster version of that, which is awesome. It's got every single version of Jason on here. And then you have an anniversary poster for the original Friday the 13th, which is really cool because it's got all the people in the background. It's got the dude hanging and everything like that. You see Jason, you see Alice. You see uh, the old friend of the Christie's sitting over here. So that's pretty cool. The first one is not even close to my favorite of this franchise, which seems to be pretty popular, that uh, not a lot of people put Friday the 13th, the original, in like even their top three. But um, it is cool to have a throwback poster like that. So there's your two posters, exclusive through Shout Factory. I can just roll this bitch back up. Probably gonna cut here. And then here you have the gem. This thing's actually pretty hefty. I had to use both hands getting it out of the box because it was too wide for my fucking grip. But you've got that artwork that I just showed the poster for that's wrapped around the front of the box and the sides. They got the hockey mask up here at the top with the blood. Uh, it almost looks like it's probably from part seven or something with that little star right there. And then of course you have all the movies right here. So I'm gonna cut this open and uh, try to maintain the plastic around the sides and just cut slits here. That's a little trick I learned from uh, my daddy. All right, surgery was a success. We have all of these now. Let's look at all of these things. We'll pull out a few at a time. Now typically with the uh, Shout Factory sets, they usually have like their own artwork cover and on the inside they have the retro cover. So they look like they got the retro covers out. So I'm curious. Oh, it's like a real vintage cover. So like, for example, this one, Friday the 13th, this is probably like some of the original promotional art. It looks like ultra grindhouse. <laughs> so that is awesome. This is, I'm, I'm the type of person where I always flip it over. I always flip it over and put whatever the exclusive artwork is or the variant cover on the outside and keep the, the traditional cover on the inside. Now, like if it wasn't a box set, if it was just like a slip cover of Friday the 13th, they would have the artwork and the slip cover and then I would leave the original on the inside. I always like having both. So I'm not gonna flip all these around in front of you, but I'll show a few of them. So of course you got part two, this one. You know what, fuck it, I will show you all of them. What, are the, what the hell else are you guys doing? Come on, you're here to watch this. Friday the 13th part two, like I said, ultra, ultra grindhouse. You don't even see shit, just, hey, it's part two, bitch, come watch it. This is the one that everybody's getting all excited about is Friday the 13th part two as far as this disc uh, set goes because there is some recovered footage from like an old VHS tape, uh, some uncut kills of a couple of characters. I believe it's the ones that are stabbed in the bed while they're fucking. Uh, now it's not spliced back into the movie because the, the footage is probably shitty, especially marked up to 4K and HD, all the stuff that we watch on now, but uh, it's gonna be part of these special features, so. I don't know. I, I'm somebody that I'm on the fence with that because Shout Factory has done a couple of these releases. That just hit my foot. Shout Factory has done a couple of these releases to where they splice old gr grimy footage back into the film. Like I think the most famous one for me that I didn't uh, didn't really appreciate was Silent Night, Deadly Night, uh, and they would put the uncut kills, and you would just see the quality change mid scene. It would be like HD and then ultra shitty VHS, and then HD ultra shitty VHS, and to me that was distracting. So 
I don't know. I, I don't really like going to the menus to find extra footage if it's going to be extra footage, but at the same time, I don't necessarily want it spliced back in the film if it's not up to quality. Friday the 13th Part 3, you've got this little video game looking character popping out. I have a lot of fun with Part 3. It's not the best, but I really like Richard Brooker's Jason. Uh, I like the final girl, uh, Chris, I think her name is. I mean, I'm probably going to forget some names. I haven't watched these movies in a while. But uh, aside from taking a while to get going and so much time at the barn, I really like that one. So this one actually looks like the variant cover might be the front. So you got part four, a new beginning right here. I've never seen that cover. And then in the back here, if Jason still haunts you, you're not alone. And that's what it shows right there. So and again, just like a little one sheet. I think I'm gonna keep this one out though. I kind of like that one. This is gonna be a little wild. I'm gonna have some, some mixing and some matching going on. So I like that one. Part four is definitely the one as far as this is part five. I fucking misread it. This is part five. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. The chocolate bar dude is not in part four. So yes, part five. Danny, if you're watching, that one's for you. Um, part five, I have fun with. You know, that one, it, it's, I'm not as down on it as everybody else. I, I get the criticisms for it though. Now the one that I was talking about, part four. Part four is definitely my favorite of like the classic pre-zombie Jason. Friday part four, again, just a little one sheet is pretty badass. That is one that they really just nailed it. They took everything that they did in the other movies and just did it all the best. The Jason performance and the look was the best. The kills by Tom Savini were the best. Uh, the characters were a lot of fun. And, and I'm not really very high on Friday the 13th characters. I think they're all pretty garbage. I know it's kind of intended. But uh, yeah, that one has characters that I really enjoy. You got a lot of fan favorites here with Jason Lives, uh, my buddy CP, this is his favorite. Uh, my buddy Vince, who does Never Hike Alone, this is his favorite. Uh, Sean Chandler, a good friend of mine that does the, um, he had a couple of rankings and this was his favorite. So this seems to be the one that most people like. Uh, this one is my third favorite of all of them. I do like it. This one does not have a variant cover though. It just shows, it's just a picture of Jason. So that will remain exactly the way that it is. A little disappointing on that one. You could have had Alice Cooper or something in there. Come on, man. The man behind the mask. What are you doing, Shout Factory? I'm sorry. I'm not going to be a greedy bitch. You guys put together an awesome set, and here I am crying about it. Leave it to the Nightmare fan to cry about the quality of a box set when we got the shittiest one of all. Am I right? So it looks like these newer ones might not have a variant cover. So you got the New Blood. This was the one that I was hoping was going to get a lot of love in this set because I am not really a big fan of this movie at all and it's because all the kills are just cut to death no pun intended they're hacked they're like cut off right at the money shot and it's the whole movie i love the look of jason i mean it's, it's got some fun kills like with the little party horn and stuff like that but there's some really badass kills if you look up the uncut footage and i know people said that the, the original footage is destroyed so we're never going to get it but i was really hoping that uh, they would announce we have found the uncut new blood footage and then this one would probably jump up two or three spots in my ranking easy just with those badass kills. Ugh, Jason takes a boat. Oh, I'm sorry, Jason takes Manhattan. Again, no variant cover for this one. This is just a picture of, of Jason doing his thing on Manhattan streets for the last 12 minutes of the movie, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. Uh, yeah, this one, this is one that I can't get into. I've tried a, a few times. I think this movie is just bad all around. There's not really any charm to this one that I really like. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that's one. That's my least favorite of the big three. It, or aside from Freddy's Dead, that is my least favorite of the big three. And it's definitely my favorite, my least favorite, Jason. So this one does have, it does not have a variant cover. It just changes it. So you got Jason Goes to Hell which Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X, this is the first time you're going to find them in a Friday the 13th box set since that Steelbook one that came out a few years ago that people are selling for thousands. So this is one side of it, and this is the other side of it, which is exactly the same aside from the page over here, and it doesn't say Jason Goes to Hell. It says, Evil has finally found a home, Jason Goes to Hell, and he's not coming back. Um, so I'm going to keep the regular one for that one. And this comes with the theatrical and the uncut. Definitely watch the uncut. There's some gnarly ass kills. I know a lot of people hate this movie, and I get it. If I was a Friday fanatic, I would probably hate it too. Uh, but every time I do like a Friday marathon, I actually look forward to this one because it's such a breath of fresh air. It's so batshit, weird, crazy, insane that uh, I have fun with it. Just 
checking to make sure my shit didn't die. Jason X, another one that everybody hates, but I actually enjoy because I have nostalgia for it. This came out in, what, 2000? Something like that, 2002? So I was 12 years old. This was the first Jason movie that I think I ever saw. <laughs> Aside, actually, you know what? Both of these are the first Jason movies that I ever saw, which is sad. For a lot of Friday the 13th fans, they're probably punching the screen right now. I rented this one because I was told Freddy was in it. Yeah, I, I was sold a shitty bill of goods, was I not? Uh, as a kid, I did not like this movie at all. I thought that the kill inside the tent with the titties was pretty funny because I was like nine and I was like, oh, that was kind of cool and bloody and there was some naked ladies. And then you see Freddy in the last five seconds and I was like, what the fuck? And we did, Freddy vs. Jason was nowhere to be found for years. This one came out in theaters and I rented this one and this was like a DVD slash Cinemax or HBO thing that I watched a lot in my early teenage years. It's not a good movie. <laughs> it's not a good movie at all, but I have fun with it. So this is exactly the same on both sides. It's just a different uh, cover on this side. So instead of the Robocop chick, you get the captain. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. It, it doesn't really matter to me. It's a little disappointing that we don't get some cool artwork. I mean, I'm not trying to bitch, but um, for a badass set, there's not really a whole lot more you can ask for, but I'm a, I love the variant covers. So I'm a little disappointed that only like the first five movies had anything. Freddy vs. Jason. I love this damn movie. I know it has flaws. It could have been better, sure. But you know, for me, uh, it, it delivered a lot of what I wanted from that movie. I always have a blast with it. Now this one does have a variant cover. You got that, and then you have this. Now I'm gonna change it over to this. I actually loved this poster whenever it was um, being advertised. I was a Freddy vs. Jason fanatic when this movie came out. I mean, I read every press release. I read every little plot synopsis. I watched every clip. I played everything. When they used to have like movie websites, freddyvsjason.com, and you could see all the stuff that they released. I was on that damn site like every other day looking for some update before I saw that movie. And when I finally did see it, uh, when the Blu-ray came out, or when the DVD came out actually, I watched it twice in one night, and then I watched it twice more before the weekend. So like the first week I had it at home, I watched it like five times and I did not get sick of it. Then you have the controversial favorite of mine, the remake. I love this movie. I don't understand what a lot of people's problems with it are. Uh, fair enough if you don't like it, if you have your issues, but um, I have a blast with this. I think Derek Mears is by far the best Jason. I think there's some really good kills. I actually enjoy all the characters, even Trent. I think he's hilarious as this douchebag. That's kind of the point of his character. I don't know. Different strokes for different folks. So this one does have a variant. You've got the hockey mask, and then you have this one. I like this one, so I'm going to use that one. <sighs> if you watched this in theaters and you didn't like it and you've kind of been hesitant to ever check it out, give it a shot now, because I think a lot of people will warm up to this one eventually, except for Vince DeSanti. And then we have the last one, which is the Friday the 13th Collection bonus material. And this is where you're going to get interviews, uh, the Return to Crystal Lake, the Friday the 13th Chronicles, uh, Behind the Gore, a couple of documentaries. Uh, I'd imagine like some of the music videos and stuff like that would be in here too. There's just a picture of Alice. I'm not going to pull it out, but it's just a picture of Alice with the boat where she's doing that shit. Uh, I'm surprised that this doesn't have the Crystal Lake memories. That would be kind of a cool addition. But uh, again, here I am bitching about wanting more. And they gave us plenty. And then you have this book here. So the book at the end, uh, it looks like it's just kind of press notes. It's notes about each of the movies. Um, yeah, it's going through all of them. So that'll be an interesting read. And Blu-ray credit, stuff like that. Oh, that's a cool, it's got a little face crusher kill at the end. Yeah, so it's just a lot of the, like when you get these special editions where it's got like a producer or somebody, this is probably like Sean S. Cunningham who wrote this. Uh, just notes on all the different movies and the, the franchise as a whole. So that is all of those. Let me go ahead and put these Blu-rays back in the proper order. Son of a bitch. I'm glad I got this because look, I'm not the biggest Friday the 13th fan, but I have really grown to appreciate this franchise for many different reasons. Um, I always liked Jason as a killer, but it's just, it's, it's never been a franchise that I grew up with. I've had to kind of tag along and kind of become a fan later in life and especially with being kind of <laughs> scoured or soured and, and scorned by the um, Halloween franchise this one has definitely started to look a lot better to me uh, and I missed this 
quality of the Halloween box set. I have the smaller one that they released, which is fine for me, but I, I would have liked to have had it just because I'm a collector. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is the whole set. That is all the movies. Even the, uh, the spines here have different little variant covers for the different ones that you use. Those have changed on the ones that I did flip around. So that is it. If you guys want this, get it while it's hot. They still have them on Shout Factory. They still got them on Amazon. They're a little cheaper on Amazon. You might as well go with that now if you don't want these posters. Um, if you do want the posters, that's the only place that you can get them. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And it's not something that I do very often, but for something special like this, I figured you guys might want to kind of go through the whole set with me. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and share this video. Hit that subscribe button if you are a Friday the 13th fan because I have reviewed every single one of the movies. I have ranked the franchise, I have ranked the Jasons, and I've ranked all 181 of the kills. Yes, I am that psychotic that I did that undertaking. It's all there for your viewing pleasure. Check all that bloody goodness out. And as always, guys, remember, opinions are like assholes, but that doesn't mean that you have to be.